essentially it's what your business does when it's at its greatest. And then what you want to do is apply that again and again, both in core areas, but also as you think about new areas of business. The work on repeatable models actually at its essence is about a return to a much simpler definition of strategy that is a very explicit uh, concept, how the entire organization will understand the essence of it, will learn at the front line, and will create a fundamental uh, ability to simplify businesses so that they can respond faster in a world where that is at the absolute essence of competitive advantage. What we found by analyzing a company database of 8,000 companies, building a very deep database of practices, 200 companies, and then following those up with 50 CEO and senior executive interviews and other pieces of analysis, is that only 9% of companies in the entire world achieve even a modest level of sustained and profitable growth on average for 10 years. I mean, the fact of the matter is in business, sustainable profitable growth is hard. Of those companies that do grow profitably and sustainably over time, we call those sustained value creators. And as we began to interview the CEOs and study these companies, we found that the companies that really had all three of these principles in place tended to be the ones that were by far the most successful. The first question relates really to the first design principle. It is, can you state in a very simple way the three or four deepest areas of uniqueness or differentiation that the strategy is built around? Let's take kind of the historical legacy of your company of great kind of hidden assets combined with your best customer now, and let's define what that model is. What is it? What set of activities do you have there that define that way of working? The second important question relates to the second design principle. In a way, it is, it is as simple as, do the people in your company understand the strategy? Principle two is all about how do we empower the front line? How do we co-create the strategy with them? How do we agree on a set of non-negotiables about how we're gonna work together? And the third one has to do with feedback mechanisms. You ask yourself, do you believe that you have such great ability to sense change, know what is important, decide what to do, and then act that you have compressed the time and that you have pure information flowing up. How good are your feedback mechanisms on these handful of the most important differentiators for your business, both short-term and also long-term? Whenever we talk about repeatable models, it's not one principle, it's not two, it's all three. 